Well, this is trash day. I have there's a pool pump motor down there. Um Golly, man. I like that. I'm assuming that's a sand filter there that I'm not going to have a bit of use for. The aluminum chairs over there, I can cut them up. The motor. The aluminum door, I can whack that up. I don't know how heavy. All right, that's a battery right there. I can use that. That's would go in over. This is not really all that heavy. I could take that thing apart pretty easy. Sure could. Let's see what kind of. Yeah. Oh, goodness gracious, there's a car battery. Oh, Lord. There's a bunch of wires. Okay. Hey, big boy. What's up? Huh? What's up, Fang? Look here. What's up? Come here. Let's see them teepees. Can I see them teeth? Look at them fangs. Boy, you got some teeth. Boy, you like to ride. I am definitely going to have to get busy. I'm starting to pile up again. Uh, this here. Let's see, how is this thing put together? Phillips, Phillips. Phillips, yeah, I can pull that apart pretty easy. Uh. All right, I got to start processing some of this stuff. Oh. Uh. I am, um, I'm going to start cutting up some of this stuff, but first I got to clear off my table. Uh, I decided that air conditioner that was, what the hell is sitting out there? I'm sorry, I cussed. Let me go over and see what. I, I got more people dropping stuff off over here now. Oh, uh, but they're dropping it in the yard. 
What is that? Well, geez. That had to be just this morning. Can't have this stuff piled up out here like that. Man. Man, I'm getting scrap and I ain't even having to go get it. I did get rid of the two air conditioners. Oh. Uh, which was a plus and a big help to me. This means if this keeps up, let me go get that. Drag it over here. Man. I wonder who dropped that off. That is an old analog uh, TV antenna. I guess you could still use them, but you have to have a converter on it. Hmm. Joey dropped that off. I'll have to cut that up. Okay. How can I do this? Turn that around this way. Oh, I can just barely reach it. Hey, <laughs> man. Dauber, dauber. I swear, folks, I'm... For an old man... I am, uh, I'm busy. I used to didn't be this busy. Yeah, this is awful lonely. Now,
What's up, baby? What's up, baby? My baby girl? Huh? You my baby girl? You need to come outside and get a little exercise, baby. Can't be sitting there hanging around on my bed, laying on my darn pillow. You need some exercise. I wish I had you trained with a leash. Yes, I do. Hey, my baby. You're my baby girl. Hey, Papa, you the girl. Hey, Papa loves you. Do you know that? You want to talk to me? Can you talk? Come on. Talk to me. What are we talking about? <laughs> Come here, baby. Come here. Come here, darling. You too good girl. Yes, you are. You're my baby. Yeah. Yeah, it's my baby. Papa loves you so much. You're not my only little girl anymore. I got some girls up in Michigan. Some granddaughters. I even got some grandsons up there. Yes, I do. Yeah. you my baby. The wind's blowing, ain't it, baby? Well, I need to get busy. This ain't... This ain't happening. Uh, I'm assuming that's aluminum. Yeah, that's aluminum. That's aluminum. You know, I could almost put a bottom in that thing and use that. Nah. Okay. What are we going to do here? Where's my, there's my pickup stick. Now. This. go right there for now and that scrap I'm gonna put all my tools in this is scrap too but I'm gonna put all my tools in there Steel. That is uh, goes right there. But the tools right now, I'm getting my bench cleared off so I can work. So I can work. That's the battery. And you know what? Don't overreach. Ugh. Okay. That goes right there. That goes right there. That goes right there. That goes right there. This goes over here. That goes right there. 
This was from Tanya. It's all going in a far fall. This I'm going to make a flagpole for my scooter. That's going right there. Now, to be processed, this is steel. That's going to be the process, that's going to be the process, that's tools, be the process, be the process, be the process, and holy cow, a little blue bottle, and that's a battery, that's to be processed. This is to be processed. Processed. That's going to be the process. That's to be processed. And let me cut that off. I save all these little connectors. Now, that's blast me. That's to be processed. That's going over there. Now, guess what, folks? Anybody that knows me knows what's next. I gotta sit down and rest my back. <laughs> Five to ten minutes, and I have to sit down. I wish I had your energy, baby. Yes, I do. Baby's my daughter. No, my granddaughter. No, you're my doggy. You're my doggy. You're my bib buddy. I swear, how does a dog keep their feet so clean? I mean, they run around out here like in the dirt and everything. And then I started taking notice, their feet are never dirty. You know how black the bottom of my feet would be if I run around out here barefooted? And hers is so nice and pink and rosy looking. They're not dirty. I don't get it. I don't get it. No, I don't. I don't get it, baby girl. Oh, the wind feels good. Uh, it could be going to rain today. Very possible. I'm so glad I was able to get rid of them air conditioners. That gave me a lot of room. Because I didn't want to strip them if I didn't have to. But I was ready. Uh, boy, I love my, uh, subscribers. <sighs> They're really like family. I just talked to Mary Elizabeth Bosley in England. She's the lady that sent the bag that's hanging on the back of my scooter. She sent me that bag. 
that and another bag all the way from England and I every time I go out that bag's on my scooter and I'm using it um but I just talked to her and she sent me a bunch of pictures you know and her daughter she's a beautiful lady her daughter's beautiful her granddaughters are beautiful uh their kids beautiful kids grandkids and stuff and hmm i tried to get her to do a live chat a private live chat with me but she said right now she just didn't have time i want to talk to all my subscribers i you know, sitting here chatting with them, typing things out back and forth is one thing. Or even on the live, they'll be on the live and they'll be typing comments. It's not the same as me sitting... Oh, don't want to drop that. Am I recording? Yeah. It's not the same as sitting there on a private live stream face to face she sees my face i see her face you know it's like sitting across the table from each other and talking there's nothing can replace that other than to be there in person which is um nearly nearly impossible nothing like that just just sitting there talking, you know. And the same thing with Chris. I can't get, get Chris and Holly to do a live stream or even do a private uh, live stream with me. Uh, and they're the ones that got me started on YouTube. And they're only around, well, I say only, is because I got a lot of other friends that was, way below them in subscriber count and they have already went way past Chris and Holly. Chris and Holly's kind of sticking around 39 to 41,000. Uh, I remember when they only had a few subscribers and I remember the day they hit 6,000. They happened to be checking their channel at the same time that 6,000 rolled up. And oh boy, was they tickle. Now they got 41,000 or something. But I can't get him to do a live stream. I, <coughs> I don't watch all of their videos now simply because a lot of their videos that they do now uh, is totally not, just, just not interesting to me. I check in every once in a while. But when they do a dumpster diver, when they actually get out and dumpster dive, and I watch them from beginning to end. But I don't watch the stuff about life on uh, Smith Island. That's where they, I guess they moved there. I, I, I don't mean it mean-spirited or derogatory, but I ain't lost a dang thing on Smith Island. I don't. I don't like them being there, but you know what? That's their life. They got to do what they want to do. Uh, and if I'm not a happy camper, so be it. I'm not a happy camper. But, you know, I, even my siblings and stuff, they do stuff I don't like. But that still don't make them any less as my brother or my sisters, you know? And that's the same way with Chris and Holly. That don't make them any less of a YouTube favorite of mine. Uh, I just don't like some of their content anymore. But I don't, I don't make, I don't leave negative comments and tell them they're dumb and all that stuff like some people do. I don't do it. They're still Chris and Holly, and I, I thoroughly have enjoyed a lot of their videos. And I even made some reaction videos on them, but now I was wanting to do another reaction video on them, but, and I even told Chris, I said, I just can't get, 
Uh, there's nothing there that gets me excited. I have to be excited about a video or something before I do a reaction on it. And um, it's been a while since they did anything that was consistently going ongoing, you know, that I could get excited about. Um, I can't, I can't be a phony, but um, uh, but they say they're going to be doing some. Uh, uh, dumpster driver and I'll be looking for that it may it may rain today it just may rain today I better get busy while I can while I can somebody done went <coughs> I need to get my screw gun out here um, and get busy instead of sitting here talking to my camera. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, them nice crusties. I wonder if I should scrap them or maybe, maybe donate them. Where would you donate something like that to where it would go to somebody that needed them? Usually somebody that needs them don't have to worry about them because wherever they get treated, they give them a pair of crutches. I don't know. All right, Dauber. <laughs>